everybody. Look, I just want to do a quick follow-up video on something I mentioned a couple of videos ago. That was when I was uh, processing James's Tadpole Nebula data when we did a data swap, James being the DSO imager. And um, I talked about how when I was making a luminance layer from the Hydrogen Alpha stack, that Star Exterminator removed a little tiny bit of nebulosity that was sticking out from the edge of one of the tadpoles. Now, that wouldn't normally probably be something noticeable on a nebula that you're processing like the say for example the rosette which would have like a ton of nebulosity and little tiny detail and you're not going to notice if it's missing but if you are trying to highlight some features of a small target it does become quite important and i meant to mention this again because i had a similar problem with the data when i was processing what i call the croc eye nebula here um, here we've got it um, sideways, I haven't rotated it here, but um, now obviously the most important thing that I'm trying to process here and show is the bubble. Uh, sure there's all this nebulosity over here, but I'm really trying to show the structure of the bubble. And this is the HA stack and um, this was the inner uh, sort of shell by the look of things of the bubble and here seemed to be the outer shell. Now obviously it's the shell that you want to nicely show and demonstrate and keep in your image. You don't want it removed. And this area here particularly is sort of the brightest part of that shell really. Now when I did Star Exterminator on the Hydrogen Alpha stack, and this has really just had, it's had a uh, background extraction, it had some blur exterminator, it had a little bit of noise exterminator. And uh, if I just step forward uh, with Star Exterminator, it um, left it all there quite nicely. So that was fine. And um, I didn't, when I initially was processing my um, Oxygen 3, I didn't uh, sort of pay close enough attention to it because I'd just seen everything work fine in the HA, so I presumed it was working in the O3 data as well. But as I went further down the process, I thought, hang on, there's something wrong here. There seems to be something missing. And um, when I went back and had a look, so here we've got our linear, linear data. Um, so this is really, I think this just had a, a dynamic background extraction that had blur exterminator done as well. I can't remember if I did any noise extermination or not, but anyway. Um, you can see again the two shells, and again in the O3, this is the brightest part of that inner shell. So this is clearly the bit you want to demonstrate. It gives a bit more definition to the bubble. But if we just step forward, when I did Star Exterminator, it actually removed most of that bright area. We just go forward and back here, which kind of surprised me because this elongated bit um, of signal doesn't really look like a star. If anything, it might be misinterpreted maybe as a galaxy or something, but um, you know, Star Exterminator is actually really good at leaving galaxies behind. So I wasn't sure why it was removing that. I checked it on the stretch, did a stretch version. Now this has just had the script an easy processing, uh, easy processing sweep, easy soft stretch here, so nothing else really done. And so it's not as bright, so it hasn't been processed further, but Star Exterminator just stepped forward again, and we're looking at this area here, which is the brightest part, and you can see it's removed it again. So that was a bit disappointing. So what I did in this particular instance, I made a mask, and um, you can see there's a mask applied here because it's got the back bracket black back, uh, sorry, the brown background on the um, image identifier. And um, if I just go mask and show mask, you can see here it is here. What I did to create that mask is just use the game script. So under utilities and game, and uh, this is showing that I actually had, have already made it. So just remembered I'd made it. And if we look in here, here is my mask that I created using the multi-point process. And then just gradient and hit gradient edge mask. And then you hit OK. And uh, it makes a mask that looks like this, which you then just apply. So it was protecting this area. And then when I did Star Exterminator, it left that bit of the shell behind, which was great. It did also leave behind a, a few little dots of stars, which is something to bear in mind and might have to de deal with later. But anyway, I went ahead and I processed it, but I was happy that I'd sort of kept that in. Since then, um, and there has been some discussion by some others that I've spoken to where they've noticed that Star Exterminator has, Star Exterminator has taken out 
nebulosity, particularly fine filaments. Um, so you've got to be careful of that. I actually tried it on um, Starnet and uh, yeah, I've given the game away a little bit there by showing this, the, the star remove version. But here, this here is just a clone of this one. And um, so I just applied Starnet to this one, Starnet 2. And you can see it removed the stars and it left that bit of shell behind. Um, same thing with the stretched version. Here it is here, um, and it's just a clone of this stretched version. Um, and again, if I use Starnet 2, it goes, it leaves it behind, which is which is great. Um, so look, just be careful about some of these tools and be careful with um, Star Exterminator that it's not removing actually some important little details of your nebula that you might need to have a look at sort of more closely when it's being applied. I mean, in this situation, for example, obviously when I'm up close and I look at it, I see it's missing. But it's very easy when you're back out at this power to just go, okay, Star Exterminator, good, and then move on without noticing that's been removed. Uh, in this particular instance, Starnet 2 did a better job, so it's worth trying Starnet 2. I can also say um, that if you are, if you do have an NVIDIA card and you can um, do the um, acceleration of these using the uh, power of the graphics card, um, it's really well worth doing. Um, if I just show you here quickly with Star Exterminator, if I apply it to this and uh, we can actually just sit here and watch it run because it runs pretty quickly. So you'll see how quickly it does run. You can see the percentages are counting up very quickly. So this is just going to be done in probably a matter of about, you know, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. Uh, without that acceleration, I'm um, sitting here for uh, like a minute or two minutes while it does it. So yeah, if you can uh, do that, um, if you've got an NVIDIA card and you can use the GPU acceleration, I highly recommend it makes it easier, particularly when you're trying to go backwards and forwards um, or trying different versions where you uh, do using Star Exterminator or Blur Exterminator. It, sp it speeds up those as well, Blur Exterminator, Noise Exterminator. So yeah, highly recommend it. Anyway, um, yeah, that will end my little tale of caution. Um, so just keep a close eye on the little fine structures when you're applying some of these tools to make sure it's actually not removing actually the very detail that you're trying to, to highlight. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'll just end by saying I wish everybody um, lots and lots of clear skies.